My name is David Andre and I'm going to show you how to run Llama 3.3 on your phone. Now, this is a new AI model from Meta AI that is actually better than GPT-40, which is the default model inside of ChatGPT. Now, the reason this matters is because Llama 3.3 is completely open source, meaning you can run it locally on your computer or on your phone, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, the first thing you need to do is actually download the model on Olama. So go to olama.com and click on download. Now, once it finishes downloading, open your downloads folder and unzip the file. Then double click on the app and click open. Let's move it to applications and then simply open the Olama app. App. Now you will not see any UI and that's because Olama is a terminal app. Now a lot of people are scared of using the terminal. There is no reason for that. It's actually super simple. So all you need to do is type Olama run and then the name of the model. So let's go back to the website, click on models. And obviously we want to use Llama 3.3, which right now is the best 70 billion model on the market. So if your computer is not powerful enough to run Llama 3.3, just go with Nemotron Mini or Llama 3.2. Both of them are great options, but I'm going to do Llama 3.3 and all you need to do is copy this command. So no matter which model you choose, there's always going to be this command right here. So I'm going to click on copy, go back to our terminal and simply paste this in and hit run. The first time you do this, it will take like 20 minutes to actually download the model, right? Because if you want to run it locally on your machine, you need to download the weights to your computer. But then after you do it, as you can see, it only took like one second to actually load it. So the next step for us is to actually try to get the response. So let's go back to the terminal and I'm going to say, hey, who are you? And hopefully it will say I'm Llama developed by Meta, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, as you can see, it is correct. Now, this is already better than most people, right? Most people have already quit before this step, but we want to take it further. Not only do we want to put it into an actual UI that we can use, but we also want to run it on our phone. All right, we can click this off. Now, the next step is actually here inside of Vectel.ai, which is my own AI startup. Now, what makes Vectel great is that it's a combination of a productivity app and AI agents. For example, in the chat agent on the left, we can ask, help me set up Olama. How do I do that? And it will automatically know the context of all of your tasks and it will work with you to complete those tasks. So you literally have state-of-the-art models that know your work description, goals, preferences, and as well as all active tasks on your list and work with you to complete them. Let me show you. So I'm going to press Q to create a new task. I'm going to say, choose the text tag for my startup. Now this will send the task to our sorting agent, which will automatically position it on our list. And you might be wondering, David, why did it go to the top? Well, because if you read my user preferences, you'll see that I put here, I'm a new AI startup founder. My goal is to build and release my AI startup. So when the task is relevant to your goals, the AI agent will automatically put it to the right place. And then you can work with the chat agent to help you complete the task. So if you want to try it yourself, just go to vectel.ai and sign up. All right, let's get back to Llama 3.3. So anything LLM, this will let us run Llama 3.3 in an actual UI, right? So right now we have it in the terminal, but it's not really user-friendly UI. So go to anythingllm.com and click on download for desktop. Now, while it's downloading, let me go back to Vectel and ask, what are the five biggest benefits of using open source AI models locally on your machine? And boom, here's the answer. As a startup founder, so again, it knows the context about me and what my work is. So it tailors the response relevant to me. So cost control, data privacy, customization. Anyways, this has finished downloading. So let's double click on the DMG file and drag it into your applications folder. Once you do that, just open anything LLM. Now, once it opens, it actually will not look like this. You'll have to click through the steps. You can actually skip most of the steps. All you need to do is select the right model, right? So remember, in Olama, whatever model you installed, so whether it's Llama 3.3 or maybe Nemotron Mini or any other model, you need to remember the model name and then select that inside of anything LLM. And as the provider, select Olama. So there's going to be different options, Anthropic, OpenAI, this and that. Just select Olama and select the right model. Then you can create a new workspace. Let me just say Llama 3.3, save. And in here, you can customize the settings for that workspace, right? So in the chat settings, make sure to select Olama. So Olama, this is important. And then here you see all of your installed models. So I already have a few models installed, but if you only have one, you should see that one. So whatever you just downloaded, select that. And here you can customize other stuff like prompts, query mode, temperature, and all that stuff. If you're wondering how to do that, we actually have advanced tutorials inside of the new society, as well as copy-pasteable prompts 
and instructions that you can just take and use, right? So for example, in the classroom right here, under templates and presets, if you go to prompts and instructions, you can get all of my system prompts and anything else you can imagine, as well as the checklist for all of my setup. So if you're like feeling overwhelmed and like, oh my God, David, I cannot remember all these commands. In the checklist section inside of the new society, you'll find the all of my server checklist. So if you're interested in that, make sure to join the new society. The link is going to be below the video. All right, let's go back to anything LLM. And for the temperature, I actually recommend going lower, probably like 0.1. So let's update the workspace, go back to our chat and let's try something else. Write a backend for a fast API app that is a habit tracker. Okay, let's see if we can get a response. And there it is. So obviously it's gonna be slower than ChatGPT or Claude because the entire model is running locally on my MacBook. However, this is absolutely much better than using the model in your terminal. So this is step one, you know, using the model in terminal. Again, you're already ahead of 90% of people who will not get to this point. Using anything LLM, that puts you ahead of 95% of people who will not get to this point and who will quit before getting here, right? But the step three is actually getting Llama 3.3 to your phone, which is what we're gonna focus on next. So anything LLM, we did that. Now we have to start the Olama server to actually host it. So the model is actually way too big to be hosted on your phone. So you're going to host it on your computer and then start a server on your computer and then let your phone connect to that server. So let's do that right now. So to start the Olama server, first you need to get your IP address. So let's ask Vectl how to do that. How do I get my IP address? Give me the terminal command. Okay, so not only did Vectl give us the response in the chat, he also updated the task itself that has the information. So yeah, this is why you guys need to start using Vectl. It really is the future of productivity. So let me just copy one of these commands since I'm on Mac or Linux. I'm going to use this one. Now, obviously I'm going to blur my IP address. So make sure to open the terminal and paste this in. It's probably not a good habit to share your IP address with the public, right? So uh, I'm going to blur it. But whatever response you get, just make sure to copy it, put it into Vectl, and Vectl will actually tell you what is the IP address from this entire mess of characters, right? So the next step is to actually start the Olama server with this command. Again, all of these commands are in the checklist in the new society. So if you want to just copy paste them, make sure to join. All right, so copy this and go to the terminal, paste this, and you will, should not see anything after this command. But when we run the second command, which is Olama serve, we should see a bunch of information about um, the Olama server that just started. Beautiful. This means that our Olama server is right now running on my MacBook. So the next step is the thing we've been waiting for, running it on your phone. So actually you don't need to have a powerful phone. Like I have a iPhone 13 Pro, which, you know, is like three generations old. No, it doesn't matter what phone you have. What matters is how powerful your computer is because that's where the model is being hosted. So what we're going to use is actually this app called Apollo that I found a few days ago. Now, this is the only part of the process that is not free. It costs $6, but I think it's a very reasonable investment because it's $6 once, right? So it's not a subscription. And it allows you to connect Olama from your computer to your phone and stream the tokens into the phone. It's, it's pretty mind blowing. All right, so to get Apollo, go to your app store, type in Apollo AI. This is how it looks like. And again, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to pay the $6, but I already did it. So let me download it. Now, the interesting thing about Apollo is that I actually completely supports running your models locally. So obviously not 70 billion models, but you can run like two, three, four, or maybe eight billion models if you have like, you know, the latest iPhone 16 Pro Max. However, for most phones, either two or three billion models are still better than nothing, right? Running completely on your phone. So even if you don't have your computer with you, your MacBook or, you know, laptop or whatever, you can still run these small two, three billion models on your iPhone or whatever smartphone you have. So this is why I think actually $6 for this app is kind of a steal. Now, in the next step, you just choose to select what you want as, you know, your provider. So again, you can use Open Router to connect to the world's most advanced AI models like Sonnet 3.5, O1, Gemini, anything you want, right? And you can use them within Apollo. The second option is to run models locally, which means running them on your phone, not on your computer, on your phone directly. So again, two, three billion models is probably what you can realistically expect to run. Now we're actually interested in the third option, the custom backend, which allows us to connect to a local host server. So let's click on that. Now the setup here is actually not intuitive at all. So take a deep breath and bear with me. So what we need to do is we need to fill out the name the, the actually name doesn't matter. You, you, can, you can leave this as is. I just like to put it as Olama, okay? The end point here, this is the main thing. 
this is where you need to put out the IP address that earlier we discovered. Now, actually, the IP address itself is not enough. You need to put in a specific endpoint after it and then some more stuff. So I have it prepared right here. So I'm going to have Vectal do this. I'm going to say um, format our IP address into this specific format. You know, why do it yourself when you can have AI models do it for you? So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open my notes app or whatever else you want to use. You can send it on WhatsApp. Basically, you just need to get this from your computer to your phone. So there's many ways to do it, but you know, just figure it out. And you need to put in the name of the model. So Llama 3.3 and then colon latest. So whatever the name of the model is and then colon latest. So these are the two things we need. So let me switch back to my phone, open the Apollo app again, paste in the URL, which is again, your IP address and then 11434v1 chat completions. Again, all of this will be in the new society checklist. So you can just copy paste it. Now for the model ID, again, we need to put in our specific model and then colon latest. So llama 3.3 colon latest. And here we can set more stuff, right? So for example, temperature, I'm going to just do zero. I'm going to have it completely deterministic max tokens, like 400 is fine. Streaming, we want to, we definitely want to stream and then context length. Uh, that's, it's probably fine to keep it as default. Let's click on save. And what we have to do right here is this is kind of not intuitive. So I hopefully they change it in the top right corner. We need to select the model. So if you do, if you just send like, you know, hi or whatever, it will give you error. No selected model available, right? But this is easily fixable. On the top right, you simply need to select model and click on Olama or custom backend, whatever you named this setup. So let me select that. And then let me try again. Hey, and we get another error. Apollo would like to find, uh, connect the devices on your local network. So we need to allow this so that it can find the, MacBook server, third time the charm, hello. And boom, we didn't get an instant error, which is a great message. And if you actually look at your terminal, you should see that the tokens are being streamed onto your phone. We're literally using an AI model that's better than ChatGPT running locally. And I can chat with it on my phone. If you don't think we're living in the future, wake up. So let's do one more message for good measure. Convince the people watching this video to subscribe. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Either way, guys, make sure to check out Vectel.ai. Really, this is what I've been working on for the past two months. It is the future of productivity. It's a combination. You can think of it as if Notion and ChatGPT had a baby. It's really a sneak peek into what the future of work will look like. So again, go to Vectel.ai and sign up. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I wish you a productive week. See you next time.